On his way home to Winchester, battling through the commuters, is advertising executive Philip Glassborough. But he has another mission, to get to a phone box to talk to his wife. Hello? Lizzie? Yes? Lizzie, hi. I've got a tune. Can you write it down for me? Yeah, go on then. Have you got a bit of paper? I have. I'm pleased. Yeah. Um, it goes, then I bumped into you. Yeah. Hang on. Then I bumped into you. You think it's all right? <laughs> yes. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Oh, goodbye. In some ways, I'm rather embarrassed about not being able to write the, the dots down. But in other ways, I'm rather glad not to know all the rules, because at least I can sort of break them. Uh, you know, there are certain things that you're not supposed to do, and you're not supposed to harmonize this, and uh, augmented sevenths and diminished fifths and things. And I think it's rather good not knowing them. I feel sort of slightly superstitious that if I knew all the things you shouldn't do, I would somehow lose this gift of actually thinking up melodies, which is a very fragile thing, actually. Well, it's very irritating for someone like me who studied music, actually, that he can do it so with such apparent ease. He'll sing me the melody, the tune of the song, and I'll write that down. And then he'll say, this is what I'd like the strings to be playing. And he'll sing through the whole line. And in the beginning, I used to think this can't work. And I'd rush to the piano and put the two together, and yes, they did. And then he'll say, and this is what I'd like the brass to be playing. And I'll write that all down. He, you know, he hears the whole line. And for me, who's studied music and done this, this sort of thing vertically and to check that the thirds aren't being doubled and things like that, technical things, it's very irritating that he can hear all the parts, all individually, and they're all there in his head. And I suddenly knew when I bumped into you from that look in your eyes. The play was one of five chosen from nearly 500 to be performed at the Buxton Festival of New Musicals. It is now being performed at the Watermill in Newbury, but musicals are expensive, tending to have larger casts and more accompaniment. They're very hard things to get right. And in the old days, you used to be able to go on tour, you used to be able to work on a show as you went to different cities on your way into the West End. Now that's not really possible. It's not, you know, nobody has the money to do that. And so to be able to work on a show somewhere like the Watermill and to, to perfect it, to get it right, and to have a wonderful cast, all of whom bring different flavors to it, is, is great. 